His and second then, law, um, yes, we've got on the screen now, is the inheritance of acquired characteristics. Mm. Um, I explained the other day to my learners that we all know Rafael Nadal, the tennis player. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, Colin, if you've seen this massive left tennis arm, which means that, according to Lamarck, if Nadal one day has children, all these children will have these big tennis arms, which we know is nonsense. If it worked like that, I would have wished to be taller, amongst a few other things. Exactly. So it doesn't work like that. And so we don't give credit to, Lam to Lamarck's ideas. Um, but at least he tried, and at least he said about what Colin referred to earlier, the change from simple to more complex. Yeah, and I think we have there something to support that. Mm. What Lamarck said there was that all giraffes had short necks. I don't know how many of you have been to the West Coast Fossil Park, because there you will find quite a lot of fossil short neck, long horn giraffes, and the long neck short horn giraffes. So, yes, there were short neck giraffes millions of years ago. So, what he said, Lamarck proposed this, he said that because there was food, you see, the environment is it, it's very important. Das kos op die grond. In daarom was het niet nodig voor hier die kameelpaard om zijn nek te rek nie. Maar, soos wat die omgeving verander. You see, the environment changes. And this giraffe had to adapt. En toe moest hy sy nek strek om bij die hoer takke te kom, om bij die blare te kom om dit te eet. En soos wat hy gestrek het en herhaaldelik gestrek het, het hy die, hier die lang nek ontwikkel. So die lang nek is nou die nieuwe verworven eigenskap. It's this acquired characteristic, the longer neck now. And what he then said is that when this giraffe now with a long neck and, and, be, and, and just pay attention to this, he's talking about an individual year. So when this giraffe long neck, when he has young, then he will then transfer this to the next generation. En ons weet natuurlijk, dit kan nie so wees nie, want dit is soos wat um, Lorraine gesê het, as dit dan is, as a individu, a eigenskap wil hee, so ons seker voels, gaan dit wat so like. Mm. Ja, dink nou net, ek dink enige voelkie, so maar wens vir sikke tanne om die kat buit te kom, as die kat <laughs> om wil jaag. So in other words, it's not about what, we, what organisms need, or what they want. Um, and that's why Lamarck's theory is discredited. Yeah. And Lamarck and Darwin weren't enemies mm. or friends, as somebody asked here. Lamarck and Darwin were totally independent from each other, two different mm. countries, two different times, really. Yeah. So just remember that. But why do we teach you about Lamarck? Why do you have to know it? Because, as I've said, he was the first one to propose a mechanism. Although it was wrong, at least he tried. That's the one thing. And the second thing what was true about Lamarck's theories was the fact that there was change from simple to more complex. Yeah.